Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about overloading comparison operators in python programming so guys previously we have seen how we can overload the plus operator in the python so python also allows us to overload comparison operators as well such as less than or greater than or less than or equal to or else greater than or equal to and so on many other comparison operators are present in python programming which can be overloaded so for example as you can see we have the class that is person and then we have the constructor which takes the parameter as the self and then name and age is taken so basically this name and age are being assigned to the name and age attributes of the class and then we have the overloading of the less than operator over here in this case so as you can see we have the function def and then followed by underscore underscore lt which refers to the less than sign over here and then double underscore once again and then it takes one object that is the self object over here it takes the other object that is the second object so what we can do is we can create the two objects over here that is p1 it is equal to person the name is alice and the age is 20 years old and then we have p2 that is another person the name is bob and the person is 30 years old so guys basically what what we are doing is we are printing over here p1 less than p2 so we are checking whether p1 is less than p2 or not so what exactly will happen is instead of this less than the control flow will go over here to this particular function because we have provided the comparison operator overloading over here so the first object will be p1 in this case which will be assigned to self and the second object will be p2 over here which will be assigned to the other and self dot age will be compared whether it is less than the other dot age over here if it is yes then it will return true or else it will return false so guys let us implement this in our vs code over here so let's say we have the class person in this case and then what do we do is we define the constructor over here so def keyword followed by the init function in this case so i'm going to implement the constructor over here so what we will do is let's say we have self dot name it is equal to the name will be taken as the parameter over here so let's say i provide name one and then age one over here so that we can identify them so name it is equal to name one and then we have self dot age it is equal to age one so the name and age will be coming as the parameters when we are going to initialize the object when we are creating the object of the person class and those name and age will be assigned to these variable names that is name and age and then guys what we will do is we will be doing the comparison operator overloading so over here we are going to define double underscore and then lt over here so which refers to the less than operator in this case and it is going to take two parameters one is the self parameter and then the other object so over here the second parameter is the other object and this thing is simply going to return the comparison of the two ages over here so this will be return self dot age is it less than the other dot age so over here we are simply going to compare whether self dot age is less than other dot age or not if yes then return true or else return false so guys what we will do is we will create two person objects over here so let's say p1 it is equal to the person and let's say the first person name is tom and tom is 10 years old in this case and then let's say we have p2 it is equal to person and let's say the name of this person is harry and harry is 20 years old so guys what we will do is simply we need to print two statements comparing the ages of both the person so we will say p1 is it less than p2 then it will return true or false so is p1 less than p2 yes in this case because p1's age is 10 and p2's age is 20 and that is what this particular function will be implementing and returning the result and over here again we will say print p2 is less than p1 this time so p2 less than p1 this time so is p2 less than p1 so what will happen is is 20 less than 10 no in this case so this should return false so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see for first statement we are getting it as true and for second statement we are getting the result as false to make it more understandable what we can do is we can provide the statements over here is tom younger than harry question mark and then we can have a comma over here and similarly we can have such statement in the second print statement as well so over here we will say is harry younger than tom in this case 
so we have is Harry younger than Tom so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see is Tom younger than Harry so Tom age is 10 and Harry's age is 20 right now so it is returning true that Tom is younger than Harry and second time is Harry younger than Tom Harry is 20 years old Tom is 10 years old so it is saying is Harry younger than Tom no in this case so that is why we are getting the result as false what if we have another person with the same name that is Tom who is 30 years old so over here we will update the age of Tom that is another person who is 30 years old and we are comparing it with the same person that is Harry which is 20 years old so let me just save this file now and try running this code this time is Tom younger than Harry no in this case because Tom is elder than Harry right now so we are getting false and in the second statement is Harry younger than Tom yes because 20 is less than 30 this time so we are getting true in this case so guys this is the way that we can implement the comparison operator overloading as far as Python programming is concerned so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is iterator in python programming so stay tuned